Next up, Porsche Boxster S. Let's walk you through. I'm going to be documenting the whole install to you guys. So what have we got actually on the interior side of things? Obviously, you've got the factory head unit. We've got grills here. But where are the actual tweeters located? They're actually hidden away right under that grill there. So what we're going to be doing is upgrading these, the components in here, amplification, plus a sub is going to be going into the car behind the passenger seat. So there's plenty of work to crack on with. It's just being cleaned and then we're going to be cracking on with the install. And like I said, I'm going to be documenting everything for you so you can see the soundproofing that we're doing. Also, the adapters that we'll be building for the install, how it looks. And then later on, we'll listen to how it sounds. So let's obviously see what we've got in here currently. Obviously, quite a nice place to be, but let's have a listen to it. This is obviously just FM radio. So obviously first impressions from that, I've listened to quite a few of these, but if you own one of them, you'll know it's pretty, pu it's pretty punchy to be fair. Uh, the mid-bass drivers do perform relatively well, but it's when you turn up that volume or even at lower volumes, the clarity really does lack. But there is a volume issue here. There's not enough of it basically, especially when you've got the roof down, enjoying that weather uh, that we have at the moment. But yeah, clarity, volume, mid-bass isn't too bad, but what we're gonna be doing is adding a lot more depth of sound from the system with this designated sub behind this seat here. And then moving on, we're gonna be acoustically deadening the door, building a better environment for the system. So let's jump into the install. Have a bit more of an update about where we're up to on the car. So obviously either side of the doors are all stripped down, soundproof as you saw earlier. Then behind here, we're gonna be soundproofing this area and then adding the sub behind there. But what I wanna focus on for right this minute is this little hole here. What that is, is this, which is the factory vent. So as you can see, that would sit into there. And this actually holds the actual tweeter itself. So it looks like a vent for your air conditioning and stuff. However, when we spin it round, what have we actually done? So we've removed the factory tweeter and then bonded in and mounted in the Hertz Milo Legend 280 tweeter. So it sits completely behind stock location. You can't see anything at all. And it's gonna make a massive difference to those high frequencies. So in terms of the actual set that we've got going in, we've got a tweeter, a mid and a mid base all going into the front, the sub that's gonna be sitting behind the seat and amplification. So there's plenty more work to do and we'll grab a little update a bit later on. So let's have a bit more of a deep dive into what's going on inside this door. So before you saw it soundproofed, obviously we've got the soundproofing behind it as you saw earlier. So that's now really nice and solid. In terms of what we've got going on in the door, We've got a Hertz Miele Legend three inch mid range on a custom baffle gone into stock location, as well as a six inch woofer that we've got here. This speaker has actually been supplied by the client. It's not one that I've actually used before. However, it seems pretty good. So we've gone for that on this occasion, but the client has supplied that. In terms of what this connector is, so we've got oxygen free cabling here. We've also then got XT60 connectors. Why do we use connectors like this? And why does it look like this? And what does it actually mean in terms of sound? What we've got is the accessibility to be able to actually remove this component, remove this component, unplug it in essence, just like how a factory connector works. We can unplug the speaker and anyone going into a door can clearly see that it can be unplugged and still gain access to behind all here in case anything needs servicing or anyone needs to look into this door at all in the future. So it's future-proofing the install, making sure it's nice and easy and simple for anyone going into the door at a later stage to work out what's going on. So we've got a three-way system going here. You've got a mid-base driver, you've got a mid-range, and then you've got a tweeter, which we showed you earlier. Now the vents are back in and those tweeters are now secured into a stock location. So that's the new setup. You saw the tweezers earlier. You've now seen the components mounted into the door as a finished look. What have we actually got here then? So these are the factory equipment. So this was the factory tweeter. So uh, I mean, you can't see on camera, but that is incredibly light. It's literally like, it's so, so light. 
so that's the tweeter then you had the factory three inch so that was the that thickness of cable is really really thin there plus obviously plastic paper cone pretty pretty poor quality then the mid-base driver that used to be in the door again very very thin cable cheaply made uh, it has actually got a metal structure on this one which is better than normal but still pretty poor quality what have we got under here though so this is really quite cool so the factory amp on these so this didn't have bows in it but it still has a factory amplifier that used to sit underneath this area underneath the driver's seat what we've actually managed to do is mount the Audison Prima Forza underneath here and the cover goes on the seat goes on nobody knows we've been there everything is completely hidden and just look how neat everything is in terms of cable runs it's all basically looks like it's supposed to be there next up obviously that side is all done as well next up we've got to be mounting the sub behind the seat there but hopefully that gives you a bit more of a guide in terms of what we've actually done inside the door the xc60 connectors why we do what we do plus then obviously where the amplifier is located on this occasion so it's quite a nice little box here fits in there perfectly it's like we measured it um but yeah it's literally looks really really smart so can't wait to show you the rest of the install we'll carry on a bit of videoing after we've got the sub into the location on behind the passenger seat so the boxster is all done let me walk you around let's show you what's actually been done you saw behind the scenes obviously the soundproofing let's start off with this little knock test to show you what different soundproofings make so this is using the skins three mil layer and over to this side which is non-soundproof so you should be able to hear the difference there there's a massive massive difference in terms of how rigid that sounds inside the door inside the door what have we actually done here so there's three layers inside the door that we cover using the three mil layer the back of this panel here there's a central layer around about there which actually holds the actual speaker itself which holds your window mechanism then you've got the back of the actual door card itself one really nice thing what this customer was after not seeing anything so that's exactly what we've achieved as you can see here we've got a speaker grill down at the bottom so this actually holds two speakers hold a mid bass driver and a mid range and then the tweeter is mounted underneath that vent as you saw earlier so we've got the hertz Mille legend tweeter gone into stock location really nicely and neatly hertz Mille legend three inch in there and then those audio frog speakers that are in the bottom of the door other thing that our client was after was adding a little bit more bass to the system so around here we pop this forward as you can see here we've got the client's own supplied under seat subwoofer obviously on these vehicles you are very limited in room the only real place is to go in between the seats in a custom box or on something like this this does limit your room in terms of moving that seat back just slightly but there's still plenty of room there to be able to sit comfortably as a passenger but this is designed as an under seat sub we do our own different options but this is neatly installed as you can see bolted down it's all nice and secure one thing you might be thinking well this is actually a panel that needs to be accessed behind the scenes to do some maintenance work later on on the vehicle or the engine this is designed to be a fully removable piece this actually comes out and then you've still got access to all of the stuff behind there so we've actually thought about the install it's not just thrown in everything is done neatly professionally i mean if i go around there all the cables are really neatly tucked away and it's just giving you that extra bit of depth that the car was lacking before but everything else is a stock look at the same time of doing the audio install we've also added in a client's own uh, phone holder there which is quite nice and the amplifier that we've actually added onto the added into the car it's something called audison forza that's actually mounted underneath the driver's seat so that is bit of an overview of the cosmetics of the car what we've done obviously there's not much on display so obviously that under seat sub which creeps in there but still retaining quite a lot of the leg room that you've got here but overall a really nice finish let's jump inside now and show you how it sounds so now inside the vehicle let's take a minute and just have a listen to how this sounds obviously it's not going to sound as good as it does live while i'm sitting in the car obviously it depends on how you're listening to it and obviously how we're recording it as well but just honestly you should be able to hear the difference from what you heard earlier to this it is insane Feel like picking up my phone, so leave a message at the tone. 
overall a massive massive improvement that base is kicking hard and we've also got a sub override here underneath that armrest which is nice and neat but yeah overall really happy there's a massive difference in clarity there the mid base transfer into the vehicle again exceptional uh, i'm actually quite impressed with those audio frog speakers they are performing quite well and that is all mostly down to a little bit of the tuning when the system came out of the box as such uh, they were lacking a little bit with some proper tuning it sounds really nice really firm and sturdy in here uh, the bass response is really good and obviously that sub is kicking quite hard uh, which is quite nice obviously that's behind the passenger seat but you could knock that down if you wanted a little bit less but yeah those tweeters on top of the dash behind here again hurts me a legend a phenomenal range of speakers they're performing really nicely but yeah overall i'm really happy with the final results i'm sure our client is going to be over the moon as well but yeah that's another car completed chemical audio treatment you know how we do it but yeah hopefully you've had a bit more of an understanding about how we do what we do on this install but yeah in terms of just a general spec again we've got hertz Miller legend tweeters we've got hertz Miller legend three inch audio frog six and a half we've got the uh, content supplied sub and we've got a audison forza 8.9 processor underneath my seat where i'm sitting currently but yeah we've also soundproofed the doors quite a lot's gone into doing this install i'm really happy with it i'm sure our client will be but thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed smash that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one